For today's video, we are going to discuss how to find the derivatives of a rational function, and we are going to explain in details how to find the answer on each problem. So let's start and let's have an example. On number 1, what is the derivative of square root of x? So to find the derivative of square root of x, we are going to write this one as derivative of x raised to 1 half. And then, to simplify, let us have 1 half x raised to 1 half minus 1. And then, let us have 1 half, then x, 1 half minus 1, that is negative 1 half. Or you can have 1 minus 2, that is negative 1, and then copy the denominator. Since we have a negative sign on the exponent, we are going to eliminate the negative sign on the exponent, and x is in the numerator, we are going to write this one in the denominator. So we are going to have 1 over 2 x raised to positive 1 half. And to write our final answer, let us have 1 over 2 square root of x. And this will be our answer. On number 2, what is the derivative of square root of x plus 5? So let us rewrite this one as the derivative of x plus 5 raised to 1 half. Since we have a chain rule, let us have 1 half and then x plus 5 raised to 1 half minus 1. And then let us find the derivative of inside that is x plus 5 and that is 1. So let us have 1 half multiplied by 1, that is 1 half. And then x plus 5, 1 half minus 1, that is negative 1 half. So let us write this one as 1 over 2 times the quantity of x plus 5 raised to positive 1 half. So therefore, our final answer is 1 over 2 square root of x plus 5. And this will be our answer. On number 3, what is the derivative of square root of x squared minus 4? So let us write this one as derivative of x squared minus 4 raised to 1 half. And since we have a chain rule, let us have 1 half, then x squared minus 4, and 1 half minus 1, that is negative 1 half. And then let us get the derivative of inside. So the derivative of x squared minus 4, that is 2x. And then let us simplify. Let us have 1 multiplied by 2x, that is 2x over 2, times x squared minus 4 raised to negative 1 half. So we can cancel 2, and we are going to have x times x squared minus 4 raised to negative 1 half. Since we have a negative exponent, and x squared minus 4 is written in the numerator, let us write this one on the denominator. So we are going to have x over x squared minus 4 raised to positive 1 half. And to write our final answer, we are going to have x over square root of x squared minus 4. And this will be our answer. On number 4, what is the derivative of cube root of 5x plus 2? So let us have derivative of 5x plus 2 raised to 1 third. And then, to simplify, let us have 1 third, and then 5x plus 2, 1 minus 3, that is negative 2, and then copy the denominator, that is 3, and then let us find the derivative of 5x plus 2, and that is 5. So let us simplify, 1 third multiplied by 5, that is 5 over 3, multiplied by 5x plus 2 raised to negative 
2 third. And to eliminate the negative sign, we are going to write this one on the denominator. We are going to end up with 5 over 3 times 5x plus 2 raised to positive 2 third. And to write our final answer, let us have 5 over 3 cube root of 5x plus 2 square. This will be our answer. On number 5, what is the derivative of 1 over 4th root of x raised to 5? So to find the derivative of 1 over 4th root of x raised to 5, let us rewrite this one as derivative of 1 over x raised to 5 over 4. And since 1 is a numerator, let us write this one as derivative of x raised to negative 5 over 4. And to simplify, let us have negative 5 over 4, x raised to negative 5 over 4 minus 1. And then, let us have negative 5 over 4, and then x, negative 5 over 4 minus 1, that is negative 9 over 4. And to simplify, let us have negative 5 over 4. Let us write this one on the denominator. Let us have x raised to positive 9 over 4. And then let us write into radical form. That is negative 5 over 4 to the 4th root of x raised to 9. And to simplify, let us have negative 5 and then 4 to the 4th root of, we are going to divide x raised to 9 into 4 because we have the index of 4. That is x raised to 4, x raised to 4, and then x raised to 1, total of 9. So therefore, our final answer will be negative 5 over 4. And since we have 2x raised to 4, that is x squared to the 4th root of x, this will be our answer. On number 6, what is the derivative of 5 over 7th root of 3 minus 2x raised to 4? So to simplify this one, the first thing that we're going to do is to change the radical form into exponential form, and that is d over dx, 5 over 3 minus 2x raised to 4 over 7. And then, let us move this one into numerator. So we are going to have d over dx, 5 times 3 minus 2x, raised to negative 4 over 7. So let us have 5 d over dx, 3 minus 2x, raised to negative 4 over 7. And then let us have 5, and then let us find the derivative of this one. Since we have a chain rule, let us have negative 4 over 7 times 3 minus 2x, and then negative 4 minus 7, that is negative 11. Let us copy the denominator, that is 7. And then let us find the derivative of 3 minus 2x, and that is negative 2. And to simplify, let us have 5 times negative 4, that is negative 20, over 7, times 3 minus 2x, raised to negative 11 over 7 times negative 2. So let us write here, negative 20 multiplied by negative 2, that is positive 40 over 7. And then, let us rewrite this one on the denominator to eliminate the negative sign on the exponent, that is 3 minus 2x raised to positive 11 over 7. So let us have 40 over 7 to the 7th root of 3 minus 2x raised to 11. 
So let us cut 11 by 7. So we are going to have 40 over 7 to the 7th root of 3 minus 2x raised to 7 times 3 minus 2x raised to 4. So to simplify, let us have 40 over 7 times, let us cancel this one, that is 3 minus 2x, 7th root of 3 minus 2x raised to 4. And then, let us multiply this one, let us write negative 40 over 7 times 3, that is 21. 7 times negative 2x, that is negative 14 x 7th root of 3 minus 2x raised to 4. This will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.